Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how do you how do you connect uh, Azure Runbook account using Managed Identity and Graph. So we already made this video previously uh, using Client Secrets using PowerShell Script for Azure Runbook, but it was created using Runners account. And a lot of folks in here mentioned to do it via Managed Identity. So here we are with the new video doing it through Managed Identity. One thing that I need to notice is we have got more than six and a half thousand views on this video, but there are only peanuts of people who have subscribed to this channel. So if this video helped you anyway, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel so that it helps you, me, and everyone grow professionally. Azure Runbook, running Microsoft Graph using Manage Identity. So we'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how do you configure Manage Identity on Azure Runbook and make it run Graph API. So I already have um, all the scripts that we need in my notepad and I have pasted the scripts in the GitHub repo. I'll be pasting the link to my GitHub repo in the chat um, in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in my automation account. I'll go ahead and create a new automation account. Um, click on create. Yes, the Q resource group, I'm going to keep it same and it would be graph API run book. Okay, let's oh, the name is already taken using managed identity. I think it should be good. Yeah, so our deployment resource has been created. We'll wait for this resource to get completed. The managed identity. So for that, I'll click on the identity tab in here. There it is. Here you will get an option to select system assign and user assign managed identity. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to select system assign managed identity. So I'll click on on and I need to copy the service principle. So I've copied that and we have a bunch of scripts in here. So you need to replace the service principle with the with your service principle. So let me do that real quick. And you don't have to worry about the script. I have the script in the GitHub account, as I said. So, so far so good. We have copied all the service principle in here. Now, what I need to do is I'll have to go to my PowerShell and run this command. So you can do this through the UI as well, but using PowerShell, it just gets easier. So let me paste this real quick. It would be easier. Okay, looks like we're good with the first command. Perfect. Okay. Now for the step two, again, I have to copy all of this and paste it as a plain text. You should be good, perfect. Now, before you run this, we need to do connect, connect MG graph and we need to authenticate. Okay, so we are in, it says welcome to Microsoft Graph. So it looks like it worked as expected. Now I need to assign this service principle, the Graph API permission that we need. So in our case, I'll be running this script. So this script basically uh, makes use of get mg user command uh, from PowerShell and tries to get these details from my Graph API account. All right, so since I'm using mg user and this is the permission that it needs, user.readall, so depending upon the Graph API endpoint that you're going to use, um, your permission could differ accordingly. So let me grab this piece and paste it in here. Perfect. Looks like it's already done on my side, so we should be good. I'll minimize it. Now, we are ready to run this command, but before doing all of that, uh, if, you got, if you go to the script that I have, it is using mg user and connect mg graph. So this two commandlets for PowerShell need two modules. So we need to install two modules in here before we even run the script. So I'll go to the module section of automation account, add module. This should be from the gallery and it should be Microsoft.graph.authentication. There you have it. I'll select that. 
the PowerShell runtime version is 5.1 because I'm going to create um, the script and 5.1 version. So accordingly, the version that you select is very important. The version has to be same. Microsoft.graph and it is important. So we need to wait until it is import. And all right, so we have our Microsoft Graph authentication module installation available now. So now that this is available, I can go ahead and add the other model that we have. So again, select from gallery. There you have it. Select and again 5.1 and import. So this will also import um, the other module, which is Microsoft's graph dot users. So this two module is the only ones that we need to run our script. So the modules could be different depending upon which API endpoint that you're running. So you can get details about this uh, and the documentation for Microsoft. Now that we have our modules in place, we can go ahead and create our runbook. So I'll click on runbook, create a runbook. And runbook should be, you can name it graph API runbook. You can name it anything as you want. So it's going to be a PowerShell runbook. So the runtime version should be similar to what you have selected while installing the modules. So that is the reason why I mentioned it is important to keep in mind the version of the PowerShell module. All right. So we are good. I'll should review and create. All right. So I am pasting the script in here. Okay. So here it says get the token using manage identity and connect to graph using that token. So this command here in here from line three to four, it says connect AZ account identity and the access token get AZ access token resource URL graph. So the configuration that we done in this step, step one, step two, step three, this configuration allows this command to get access token for graph using manage identity. So once we have this access token, you can either run graph API through PowerShell or use rest API directly and call the further graph API endpoints directly using this token. So you see for this token process, we did not create an app registration. We did not have to have a secret. We did not have to use the certificate as well. So that is how it works, guys. Um, this is directly using managed identity. So let's save this and try to run this to see how it works now. So to save, I'll click on test pane. I'll click on start. All right, guys, so here is our result from the Graph API. Here we go. So we successfully called the Graph API using the Azure Automation Runbook using Managed Identity. That's it for this video. And do let me know if it helped you anyway. I should be happy to help. Until then, goodbye. Adios. Bye-bye.